my name is Bo. I'm a fourth year student. I'm majoring in psychology and minoring in business and entrepreneurship and minoring in leadership. I'm from Eugene, Oregon. My name is Brianna Donner, and I'm currently a junior studying biohealth sciences with a pre-medicine option, and I am from Albany, Oregon. My name is Ben Scott. Currently, I am a third year at Oregon State studying nutrition with an option in dietetics and a minor in business, and I am originally from Beaverton, Oregon. So looking at my favorite dining hall, I'd have to say that's a tie between West Dining Hall and then also Arnold Dining Hall. West McNary, they have really good stir fry there. It was kind of like a belt. So you start at one end and you grab a bowl or a plate and you start putting asparagus on there or spinach. And then you move on to the meat and you put that on. And then if you want like noodles, you can put that on. And then once you get to the end, they take your little bowl and stir fry it in front of you, which is pretty cool. One of my favorite things to get uh, was the rice bowl where you can fill out a little sheet, get, you know, white or brown rice, and then you can fill it in with all these veggies and meats and they kind of mix it around with the sauce. And it was really good. My favorite meal was at Cooper's Creek. They would have really great breakfasts on the weekend. They would have cubed potatoes and pancakes and waffles and sausage and eggs. And so it was a whole buffet that you could just have in the morning and it was great. I loved it. It was so good. <laughs> uh, they also had a really good pasta station and also burrito station. Um, and so in between classes, I would go to West Dining Hall to get food a lot. Arnold also had a great panini station and I loved their paninis. I actually didn't know that for a while when I was a first year, but the dining dollars is something that's loaded onto your ID and that's where you have most of your money and that goes towards like the dining halls. They have different levels of dining dollars. Each level corresponds to a certain amount of money uh, that you will get for this year. I got second level and that gave me a certain amount of money to spend on dining halls. You get a year after you move out of the dorms to use up all of your dining dollars or otherwise they just disappear. So pretty much at the end of every year, people just start buying everything. They'll buy a cart full of just food for no reason because they need to spend their dollars. But there's some other businesses that aren't really a part of the dining halls. The smoothie place in Dixon. Panda Express, which is located in the Memorial Union. Joe's Burgers. And that's where you can use your orange cash. That's still on your ID, but I think of it more as money because you'll have to load on that money yourself. But you can buy other things. Like I remember using it for the Starbucks that was on campus and that's not usually a part of the dining halls. I got a lot of coffee with it. <laughs> The hardest thing about college is you're moving away, you're on your own for the first time. And then there's these like 100 people on your floor and they don't know what they're doing either, right? The dorms gave you that culture to meet new people, have things in common, do classwork together. And I had a great relationship with all my floor mates, which were really tight. On move-in day, I remember when everyone was moving their stuff in, they would just leave their doors open afterwards. Everyone was like, all right, I'm gonna go meet my neighbors. I remember I bought snacks and be like, hey, nice to meet you. Like, you wanna come and I have like these high chews. And then I just like get to know people and that was like something that everyone did. It's just kind of fun meeting people and then getting to figure out the college experience together. Um, shared bathrooms was like a new thing for me because I'm just used to living at home. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of stigma around it. They're really not that bad. It's different. A big change sharing a bathroom with all these people on the same floor, maybe showering at the same time as other people. I stayed in Sackett, which had little compartment thing. It wasn't like all just one stall or anything. So I still felt like I had a lot of privacy. And there was a couple of just single use ones that had showers in them. So if you really wanted, you could find those. As the year moved on, you, you do get used to it, or at least I got used to it. And it's not as uneasy or weird after a while. Resident assistance is what RA stands for. My RA, we actually were in like a club together. And so a lot of times we would start walking to the club or we'd see each other there. And that's kind of where I really began like a friendship with her. They seem kind of scary because they're your RAs, but they're actually really nice and they'd like to make friends and they're just kind of people that you always see around. Our floor, uh, we had a right wing and a left wing. So we had two RAs and I think I really had a great relationship with my RA on our wing of the hall. RAs are a great resource for if you have any questions. They also did these nightly walks through the building. You might think it's annoying, but the idea with that is like, if someone's passed out somewhere, they can help them out. So they're really just there to make sure everyone's safe.
Office hours are really helpful because you get one-on-one -on -one help. Basically a time that's set for those professors to sit and just wait for people to come in and ask questions. Typically for your larger courses, uh, the teacher assistants will be the head of office hours. Um, if it's smaller, maybe the professor will be there. You don't really need to set up an appointment or really do anything besides just walk and have questions. The professors have a lot of lecture material to go through, so a lot of times when I go to class, it's a lot of just information thrown at you. One of the terms I took a computer science course, which to this day was probably one of the hardest courses I've taken at Oregon State. I, mean, I was almost in office hours probably every single day. He's just sitting there figuring out straight chemistry and I'm just writing it down like furiously in my notebook. And then I would go and look at it and I'm like, oh gosh, I don't even know how to interpret this like one drawing because it was just terrible. I would have to go to his office hours and he'd sit there and you know explain the mechanism through and that just like really helped me solidify the material. I think I had around like 400 students in my Psych 201 class. It was a huge lecture, two stories of lectures. Oceanography 201 course, over 300 students. That doesn't even compare to some of the classes at Oregon State. The biggest class I took was Health 231. It's a class that all first years have to take. In my class, at least, there was 300 people. I know someone else had like 600 in their class. It's a very different experience from high school, but um, you're still able to learn. There's been a lot of really cool classes that I've taken at OSU. My favorite class has been Oceanography 201. Intro to Rock Climbing. Modern China and Japan. It's one that I had to take for the PAC credit, which is physical activity. That was just an introduction class learning um, all about the ocean, which was really cool. I had a great professor in that course. He did a really uh, good job instructing and um, had a great relationship with my TA, my teacher assistant. It was just super interesting. It was like Pretty much the only class that I've really looked forward to just going to every day. I got to actually learn how to rock climb like different techniques and there's actually a field trip where they took us down to Eugene and we got to rock climb like on actual rocks. It was like the actual structure of this like side of a mountain that was kind of carved for rock climbing. Just like rock climbing on a, just another level that I wasn't able to do before. I would highly recommend the class. It's a history class, so you're going to be taking a lot of notes and writing essays during the test, but the concepts and what you learn is super interesting. It was really cool and super fun, and so I got to meet a ton of people, and it was just like one of those weird classes where people were like, I can't believe you took that. <laughs> I think I'd been in the dorms for a week, and I like pulled a muscle. So I got this Icy Hot knockoff brand kind of thing from Fred Meyer, put it on my back and uh, started to burn really, really badly. Problem is I did this at 11 p.m. So I ended up running to Monroe, which is a street right off of campus, looking for anti-burn cream because it was a chemical burn. That was me at 11 p.m. running over there, finding out they didn't have anything, running to another corner of market, finding out they didn't have anything, and then finally, to driving to a Winco and finding something. It's an adventure. When I lived in the dorms, it's kind of easy to get sick. One day I woke up and both of my eyes were so puffy to the point where I couldn't open them. My roommates just laughed at me. I looked just so terrible and I ended up having like pink eye in both my eyes. They were like, you just don't even look like the same human being anymore. One time that I was getting a burrito late at night. So I got in the burrito and was standing by the elevator to go back up to my room. Um, I took a bite of the burrito. And then as I was waiting, a cockroach fell from the ceiling onto my burrito as I was about to take another bite. I instantly threw the burrito on the ground, absolutely scared and disgusted. For the whole night, I was just scared that there was other cockroaches all around uh, the dining hall, which is obviously nothing to worry about. There's not going to be cockroaches crawling in your bed. 